Hi guys, Farhan Tipu here and today we've got another TWS earbuds review. This time we've got you the Bass Buds Sports from Petron. I'm sure most of you have seen suggestions for Petron products across your screen when you search for budget-friendly or wallet-friendly audio listening devices, be it speakers or headphones. The company just launched these TWS earbuds on September 23rd and I decided to get my hands on them and check it out if it's worth the price or if it's worth more than the price attached to it. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight to the review and check out its highlights and features. In the box, we get to see the earbuds, the case for the earbuds, a QR guide and a warranty card, a small C-type charger cable that supports fast charging, a pair of hooks for the earbuds and two extra pairs of ear tips. At first glance, I was caught off guard by the size of this case. It's quite bigger in size when compared to the usual cases. I guess this is to accommodate the ear hooks as well. The matte black case fonts off the brand's logo in the center and it is given a very nice soft plastic finish that makes it scratch resistant. We can see the LED lights and a charging port that is at the back bottom side of the case. The lid of the case is magnetic and inside the buds are kept in place again due to magnets. So you don't need to worry about them falling out of the case. Usually when you see inside the cases, the left earbud will be on your left side in the case and the right one on the right side. But here it's the opposite. The left earbud is on the right and the right side earbud is on the left side of the case. I feel this can cause us confusion at times. On the earbuds, you get to see a matte finish. They look slightly bigger in size compared to other earbuds that I have come across. The Petron logo is there in the center around a ring on the earbud and acts as a button on both the earbuds. However, there are no touch controls provided here. The hooks are of decent quality and I didn't feel any discomfort even after wearing them for over an hour. Now, let's get into the features. For connectivity, we get the Bluetooth 5.3 which offers a range of 15 meters without any obstacles. And since it's the latest Bluetooth version, the connection to your mobile or any other device is almost instant. And once you place the buds back in the case, they get disconnected. Next, you're provided with IPX4 water resistance certification. You have nothing to worry about a little rain or any water splashes. Just wipe them before placing them back in the case. I'm not sure if the case itself is water resistant, but the earbuds are. But let's say that if you accidentally drop this into a bucket of water, I cannot guarantee that they will survive. The earbuds are equipped with 8mm dynamic drivers, so you can't expect a lot of bass, but the vocals and instrumentals are satisfactory. We have also been given a music mode and a movie mode, which in my personal view didn't make much of a difference from the normal mode. The earbuds support mono and stereo capabilities as well, which means you can use one butt while the other one can remain in the case itself. Petron claims that the microphones of the earbuds offer an ENC mode that helps the users take calls without hesitancy of not being heard clearly. So this is how I sound when I'm using the Petron bass buds to speak on the road. We have also been given voice assistant support in these earbuds. Now, taking the battery life into account, the company claims that we get up to 48 hours of playtime. The case of the earbuds houses a 400 mAh battery while the earbuds have 40 mAh batteries each with a 1 hour charge time. For the case to get fully charged, it takes up to 90 minutes. So, coming to my final opinion on this TWS unit, for the price of 2999, I can say that this product didn't impress me half as much as I expected it to. The cons, it started off for me from the size of the case. It is quite big and it'll eat up a lot of space in your pockets. The earbuds alone were a little big even though they had only 8mm drivers, which made the fitting just satisfactory. I felt some discomfort when I didn't use the hooks given on the earbuds and these earbuds are missing touch controls. It was a very big disappointment for me that even in 2022 when touch is a very common feature, this makes it look like Petron took a step back instead of moving forward. It's so uneasy when you want to pause music or answer calls because when you press the button on the earbuds, you keep pushing the earbuds more and more inside the ear. They could have gone with the IPX5 instead of the IPX4 for these sports earbuds as well. The pros for me, if I had to point out, are the Bluetooth 5.3, the comfort while using the earbuds with the hooks during my gym routine or like while jogging, and personally, the battery charging capabilities since I'm a sucker for fast charging features. So this is it guys. If there are any questions, please leave them below and I'll be happy to get back to you. See you next time. Cool.